What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over binary search tree lowest common ancestor. So essentially we're given this binary search tree and um, we're given two nodes and those two nodes are V1 and V2 and we want to find the lowest common ancestor of V1 and V2. So what does that mean? That means that it's whatever is the lowest node that is shared by both of the nodes. So if we look at this picture of one, two, three, four, five, six, if I pick four and six, right, as my the two nodes that I want to find lowest common ancestor, if we keep going up from six, what is the lowest node that is going to be shared, right? If I if I start from four and I start from six, I keep going up. So six, I go up, and it's five, and I go up, and I get to three. And if I if I'm at four and I go up, I get to three. So the lowest common ancestor of four and six is going to be three, because if we keep going up from four and from six, we're going to reach this ancestor of three. We're going to reach this node that it has that is shared amongst both of them. So that's basically what lowest common ancestor is. And um, if we have this node of um, four, two, seven, one, three, six, this binary tree, and I ask you what is the lowest common ancestor of one and seven, Essentially, if I keep going up from one, I get to two, and then I go up from two, I get to four. And if from seven, if I go up from one, I get to four. So the lowest common ancestor in this case is going to be four. And the reason why this is the case is because essentially if you keep going up and up and up, they're going to reach the same node of four. So um, the code here is actually not super difficult. If you, um, essentially is, is that if you... Basically, I'll just, I'll, I'll just explain the code. I'll just explain the code for you guys because it's a... Essentially what we're doing is that what we're going to do is if the left-hand side of the left node is greater than the, no the current root and the right-hand side is greater than the current root, we're going to go to the right. If the left-hand side is less than the root and the right-hand side is less than the root, then we're going to go to the left. Otherwise, return root. And why does this work? Let's look at this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And we at, we're at four and six. As you can see here, lowest common ancestor, if you see anything that's shared, right? It means is that the, the, left, the left node of four is on the left side of the node of the lowest common ancestor of three. Right, it's on the left side. And the right node of six is on the right side of three. So essentially what we're saying is that if we reach a point where we're traversing down the, these nodes, right, and the left-hand side of the root of the node of V1 is actually to the left of the node that we're on, and the right-hand side of V2 is on the right side of the node we're on, then we return. Because that, that's essentially that means that we're actually at the lowest common ancestor. So uh, let's actually go, in and go over this example. So let's, uh, I'll just copy this image and uh, I'll go over the example with you guys here. And then I'll, sh I'll show you guys the code. I'll just copy the code real quick. So you guys know what I'm talking about. Dang, where did it go? Oh. Okay. Actually, this is not a good. All right, this is the code. Recursive code. And then let's go look at the picture. Okay. So let's say I pick four and six. All right, I'm going to pick four. And I'm going to pick six. This is my V1 and V2. What is the node going to do if it, when this code is called? Okay, when we're on, we're on the root of two, it's going to check is my four greater than my current root and my and six greater than the current root, right? Because if both of these nodes are on the right side or the left side, right? If it's either on the right side or the left side, it means it's not the common ancestor, right? Because we saw that earlier that 
V1, if, if it's lowest common ancestor, that means V1 is on the left side of the thing and V2 is on the right side of the lowest common ancestor. So as we could see here, if we're starting at the root of two, is V1 greater than, and is V2 greater than it, right? It is, right? Four and six are greater than two, right? So four is greater than two and six is greater than two, right? I can't type that. But four is greater than two and six is greater than two. So that means that two is not a lowest common ancestor because four is not on the left side and six is not on the right side. Do you guys follow? So that's why we're gonna recursively call on the right side. And we're gonna check this side because we know that four and six are greater than two. So therefore the lowest common ancestor have to be on the right side. Now we're recursively calling here on three. Is four and six greater than three? No, right? Four is not, uh, actually, let's see. Is four and six greater than three? So let's, let's see, okay. So is four greater than three? Um, Yes, four is greater than three. Wait, 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 hold up. Um, this node is not actually possible. This node is not possible. This four should be on the right side. This is not a possible tree. Because this four is supposed to be on the right. Four is greater than three. Yeah, this is not a possible tree. That's a really dumb, dumb tree. Okay, the reason why it's not possible because anything on the right side is supposed to be greater than your current node. And four is greater than three, but four is on the left side. So this tree is actually not even possible. All right, let's actually not use this example. Let's use this one. But I did explain what you guys, what I was talking about though. But essentially is that if let's say, let's say we're on this tree and we want to find the LCA of uh, one and four, seven. So for one and seven. Essentially is, is that if they're both on the, on the right side of the current node, then we know it's not possible, right? That this node four cannot be the lowest common ancestor. So we have to recursively call on the right side. If they're both on the left side of the node, right? If they're both on the left side, so let's say, Let's say we're, uh, instead of trying to find seven, let's actually try to find three, right? So let's say one and three are both on the left side of four. So we know that four is not possible because they're both on the left side. So this can't be the lowest common ancestor. So then, then we're going to recursively call on this side. And then we check is one and three less than two. It's not, right? One and three is not less than two. So that's why it's going to return two. This has to be the lowest common ancestor. The reason why is because if one is on the left side and three is on the right side, that means this is this must be the case of the lowest common ancestor. Because that's how the that's how this thing works, right? That's how the definition of it works. So yeah, essentially is, is that if we are at the current node, we're gonna go through a recursive call the current node. If both of my nodes that I want to find the lowest common ancestor are greater than that node, root of the node, then the current root cannot be it, and I have to check the right side because right side will have the values that are greater, right? If they're both less than the current root, I'm gonna to have to check on the left side. It means that the current root is definitely not it, so I'm gonna recursively call on the left side and find all the values that are less than the root to check for the lowest common ancestor. If they're not either this case, so if they're on this, this, this sort of form where one is on the left and three is on the right, Right, three is greater than two and one is less than two, then this must be the lowest common ancestor. So that's why we return root. But yeah, that's essentially the bit gist of uh, how this, this problem works. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, rate, comment, subscribe. I know uh, I had to like not use this example, but this example is not just not possible because four cannot be on the left side of three. Because uh, did they even talk about this? Okay, whatever. I, I, they didn't. They didn't explain it. But yeah, four cannot be on the left side of three because that violates the BST property. But yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.